Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Jay and I'm glad to have you here to watch my new video and I'm going to show you today how to build a planner using Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, hopefully you will enjoy this and as always please like the video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and always leave a comment so I know um, give me back your thoughts and ideas and feedback. I appreciate it. So what we're going to do is open up PowerPoint to a blank document and you will see it uh, has these text boxes. We don't need those so I'm just going to delete them. And on the side you see these pop-ups that um, it'll give you design options but we don't need that either. For right now I'm going to click insert and what I'm choosing is insert a picture. And I chose a picture to be the background. So it kind of looks like it's sitting on, like, say, a table. And we're going to go to Insert and Insert a Shape and click on the rectangle with the rounded corners. And I'm just going to place that shape on the background and make it pretty much uh, as big as the whole background. Leave a little bit of space on the edges so that you can still get the effect of the background and see the design there. Next you will make sure it's centered. You can very faintly see those red lines cross in the middle showing me that it's centered on the picture below it. And next you want to click on the um, options, the shape options, and we want to remove the outline of the shape. And next you will click on the shape fill. And once you pick the shape fill you can pick different colors. Just decided on this brown burgundy. Next you'll pick on the shape format and you want to give this shape uh, a shadow. Actually I'm going to first give it a bevel. It's kind of like it's kind of like an effect to make it look like it's raised up off the table to give it a little uh, depth, a little more structure so it's a little more 3D and also give it a shadow so that it comes up off the background. And next we're just going to click on the insert another shape. So what I've already done is what would be like your notebooks or your planners cover the front and back if it was opened up, say you open it to the middle of the notebook. Now I'm going to make another shape, a uh, rounded rectangle, and this is going to be our pages. These will be like the papers in your notebook that you're going to put your journal on or your calendars on. Next do is center the page and shape the corners to match the corners of the cover of the notebook. Once you have all the edges lined up, we're going to click on the shape outline and remove that outline of that page paper shape. We also are going to click on the shape fill. Decide which color of paper you would want it to be. I chose kind of like a creamy color paper. And also you're going to do the shape effect or the shape format and give this page a little bit of a shadow also to give it a little bit of dimension so it looks a little more realistic. And now I clicked, uh, I just copied and pasted another, this exact shape, and I'm going to copy and paste it again. So I have like three pages, give it the effect of uh, the edges of the notebook. It makes it look a little more realistic that you have you know, there's multiple pages in your notebook. So I just am adjusting the shadows here. It was a little bit too much of a shadow, so I just changed the shadow to just be on the bottom. I click on all the pages, the tabletop picture, the notebook cover, and all three of the pages. And I'm gonna click on align and to align in the center and align by the middle. So all of those levels are centered on the page and against each other. Next what I'm going to do is 
make a line down the middle of the page. This is not going to be a spiral notebook. This is going to be kind of like a bullet journal where it's just a notebook that has the crease in the spine in the center. I drew the straight line and we're going to format this straight line so when we add the shadow it kind of it gives it that that depth so that it looks like the pages are a little bit curved as it would if you opened a book. On the shadow I'm going to pick the center shadow and go to the shape format. If you right click on it you can go down to the bottom to the shape format and it opens up a menu on the side which gives you the the options with the measurements so that you can see how thick the line is you can change the thickness of the line you can change the amount of shadow whether it goes up and down or to the left or to the right so I'm just adjusting these uh, numbers here just to give you a little bit of an idea of the different effects so that moves the shadow uh, to the right a little but I want it to be the shadow to be centered off of the line and you can change the width width of the shadow and how um, dark it is or light it is that's the transparency so you just gotta play with it to see what looks the most realistic to you I think this is what I'm settling on so you see how it looks like the pages, the book is open. You can see the center of the notebook there. So what do you think? I think that looks pretty good. So next we're going to move on to putting in some tab to make our sections. The shape I'm going to use for the tabs is called flowchart display. Place it right here. For now I'm going to remove the shape outline and click on the shape format to give it a shadow and that shadow is going to be um, down and to the right and then I will choose a color that I want the tab to be. Next I am going to remove it over to where I want it to be placed on the edge of my paper on the edge of my notebook. And you'll just see here I'm to figure out where exactly I want it to be and how big I want it to be. And once I get that all decided, then what you want to do is you gotta click on your tab, go on up to the options to bring forward or set send backwards. So you're gonna bring send it backwards one level and that will put it underneath your first page of paper. Once you send it backward, you're going to copy it and paste it so that you have another tab. Go ahead and also send that one backward so that it's under your piece of paper and looks more realistic like an actual tab would in a live notebook. And then I am going to pick a different color for this tab. Now to align these two tabs so that they are centered, I'm going to click Align. I'm going to go with Align Left and then I'm going to copy and paste and then I have another set of two tabs. All four and align them. Click Align and Align Left and then the two new tabs send those also to the back so they are under that first or second page. If you want, you can change the colors of the tabs before you get ready to put some text on them. And to put the text, you're just going to click Insert, click on the text box, just draw a little box, and type whatever you want the tabs to say. So I'm going to put in the month, just for an example here, uh, January, February, March, April. Type it in the text box and then Click copy and paste, so I do that four times, and then change the text. Then all I did was move them over and reposition them to be on top of the tabs so that you can see now we have the January, February, March, and April. I also selected them all and aligned them all so they're nice and straight. So guys, that's about it for this part of, of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please leave me some comments. 
I'm dying to hear what everyone thinks of this video and I appreciate the feedback. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the reminder bell to get notified when I have a new video. Thanks!